So welcome back to Two Quacks and Five Clucks Farm. I need to prep Harriet Paddock. We're gonna be weaning the piglets tomorrow. So Harriet's gonna come down here, which is quite a distance away from her piglets, which is a good thing because the vet comes this coming Friday to do the health checks. We're gonna be tagging ears and such. And the further away she is from the piglets, the better. So I already got the fence preset. What I need to do is maximize the fence, tighten it up some, and then weed eat. And then we're gonna hook up our new Energizer. Yep, we got a new Energizer. It is a Speedrite. Speedrite, I think they bought out Stay Fix or they merge together. This right here is it. It is the S500. I think it is a 0.5 joule and it's 0.6 is stored, I wanna say. Don't quote me on that. So we're going to maximize her paddock by tightening up the fence. We're gonna do some weed eating. We're gonna get the Energizer hooked up just to see how good it really is. And get a water trough set in place. Let's see here, as far as a feed trough, we're just gonna give her those black flex containers for now. Cause she's really gonna only be here for a week at most. And then she's gonna go in a paddock with boars to be bred again. So let's get to work. So it's best to start at your entrance point. We want to pull it tight, but not too, too tight. The rods are double spike. I always like my rods pointing out. That way if the pig was to brush up against it, you have that extra spike to reinforce it. Whereas if the spikes were facing in, a pig brushes up and pushes against it, it's more likely that that spike will start to pull out and then you'll have a fence come down. Now when you're setting the fence, I don't like to weed eat too much <clears throat> if you weed eat too much around the bottom of the fence if you have pigs it will cause them to root around right along the edge of the fence i've noticed that in the past year or so and that causes dirt to pile up on your fence so i try to keep my weed eating just as minimal as possible to prevent that for some reason, those pigs, they love to root right up against the fence. Even though they have a beautiful paddock, they love to go up against the fence. I don't know why. I guess because there's just, they see dirt, you know, with the grass weeded all the way down to the, almost the bare root. They just, they love it. So I try to keep it as minimal as possible. So now we're gonna go ahead and set up the water barrel. I use three center blocks, a 50 gallon blue food grade water barrel, drill holes in it, and I put the uh, nipples for pigs. All right, let's go ahead and let's set this up on the center blocks. Let's get some T-post driven in, and I'm just gonna use one strap. This is just Harriet in here. So when you're driving T-Post, whatever you do, don't knock yourself in the face or jam up your fingers. And when you're putting in the water troughs, always have your T-Post at kind of a angle. You want the prongs on the T-Post to kind of be catty corner with your center, blo center blocks. Let's see how she sits. That's perfect. It's sitting slightly at an angle. Once when we strap it, it'll probably pull it up a little bit. It'll st still be at an angle. Let gravity work for us. Maximum pressure when it's full, of course, of water. 
coming out the nipples. All right, let's get the strap. Now, what I'm also gonna do for Harriet is find a good low line area in her paddock. This will probably be a good spot right here. And I'm gonna start her a wallow. It's starting to get real hot outside. So I'm gonna take a shovel, loosen up the dirt, and just douse it with water, get it good and saturated. That way when she comes down here tomorrow morning, she has a wallow ready for her to dig around in, lay in. Her water barrel will be ready. All we have to do is get Harriet away from her piglets into the trailer. Shouldn't be too hard. Pigs are always ruled by the stomach and she's bucket trained. Get her down here, put her in here, get the side by side, go back up, somehow keep the piglets in the paddock and get the hut out of the paddock. Drag that down here and the piglets are gonna get their special own little hut that I'll make later for them. All right, so your water barrel is full. Your tops, I don't screw down. I just kind of lay them like so, just like that. That way it doesn't create a suction and you don't get no water coming out of the nipples when a pig goes to get something to drink. Let's give it a test. Oh yeah, look at that. Good there. Good there. So now we're gonna add some water around the grounding rod. We got the Speedrite S500 hooked up. Now let's give it the test. See if I can get some shadow here. 8,000 volts at least. 8,000 volts on that side as well. When you test your electric netting, you always want to test both sides of the fence. I hope you learned a little bit of something today with this vlog on how to set up a pig paddock using electric netting and a plastic barrel for a water trough, making a wallow, weed eating your perimeter for the netting so you don't have grounding issues that's taking away energy from your energizer. And all, I did it by myself. It took me about 40 minutes and it is super easy. All right, come on right here. Wallow. 
So how easy was the move, guys? Pretty easy. That went way easier than expected. That's for sure. That's probably the simplest move we've ever done. It is? Yeah. Sure? Oh, I'm positive. Now our next move will be getting the piglets and rotating their paddock. And even that will be a simple move. The fence will be preset. Surfing on a porta hut. Woo! So that is a wrap. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog on how we here at Two Quacks Five Clucks Farm set up our pig paddocks using Premier One poultry netting. Hope you learned a little bit on how to move pigs from paddock to paddock when you're going long distance. So if you guys like what you see, hit that subscribe button hit the bell icon to get future notifications when we upload new vlogs which here lately i've been uploading almost every day if not every other day there's gonna be plenty more coming up from gardening we gotta move the piglets harriet's piglets to a new paddock on fresh pasture they leave our farm uh, this coming Saturday and they're all sold. Can't get any better than that. There is plenty of vlogs to come from gardening, pigs, chickens, meat birds, processing meat birds, anything homesteading, it's coming. Thank you for following our journey and talk to you later.